Okay, let's get started. Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Remy Kutable, I'm the Edge team lead, um, and today I will uh, present you the first uh, functional update of the Edge team. Um, so let's let's get started. Okay, the agenda for today will be um, what is the Edge team, uh, because maybe not everyone uh, knows the team. Uh, accomplishments, concerns, plans, and uh, time for questions. So what is the Edge team? First one, so the Edge team was, uh, yeah, was created in October 2016. And uh, it's, uh, right now, it's, uh, it consists of Robert, um, Mark, so Robert Spiker, uh, Mark Fletcher, Christian Kruder, and uh, myself. And for more information, please check out the, um, the end team page in the handbook. Uh, the focus of the edge team are, uh, um, First of all, developers' productivity and long-term uh, maintainability of uh, GitLab. So it involves uh, improving the development workflow and processes, but also improving the code uh, architecture and uh, so to, to uh, keep GitLab secure and maintainable in the long term. Uh, so for this part, it's uh, mostly uh, Robert and myself focusing on that. Uh, obviously, we are, uh, we are helped by uh, a lot of other people at GitLab. The second focus of the team is community interface, including issue triaging. So it's uh, issue triaging of community reported issues and future proposals. And uh, merge request coaching, uh, which involves um, reviewing, uh, helping, community members to uh, finish their uh, merge request and sometimes finish the merge request for them if they are not um, responding anymore, for instance. The last focus is uh, contributions uh, related to uh, other open source projects, uh, for instance, Git. Um, and yeah, basically it's uh, improving projects that we depend on and for make it uh, uh, better for everyone. So accomplishments. So uh, since October, uh, we, so yeah, this is uh, a, a graph that shows the number of community magic codes that were uh, included in, in the last, uh, in the few last releases. Uh, as you can see, our community is working really hard, uh, maybe harder than us. And uh, no, I'm joking because uh, all these merge requests are, are getting uh, in GitLab uh, for most part, uh, thanks to our merge request coaches. Uh, as you can see, I started uh, a bit more than one year ago. Um, I was uh, a single uh, merge request coach and then Sean joined as a coach in July and then Jenchin, Clement, Kushal, Adam and Tim. And uh, yeah, that's how we uh, how we get uh, as as many uh, magic requests as, as we can uh, in each releases. Another accomplishment is um, the the issue bash. So we had uh, our first issue bash back in December last year. Uh, and the next one is this weekend. So if you want to participate, uh, it's very, you are very welcome. Uh, it includes uh, triaging issues, closing issues, finding duplicates, uh, uh, adding labels to issues, uh, reproducing bugs, etc., etc. So I want to say thank you to Mark for this because he's, he's really uh, active on this. Another accomplishment, uh, this time uh, I will say thank you to Robert. Um, he solved the great change log crisis. Uh, maybe you know this one. Um, so yeah, basically we, we were always uh, asking um, 
contributors to rebase their branch uh, because of conflicts in the changelog file. So now it's it's resolved and each merge request includes uh, a separate um, changelog file that is um, then uh, included in the in the in the real changelog uh, at release time. Um, another accomplishment is uh, about the CE to EE merge. So as you may know, we regularly merge uh, community edition into enterprise edition. Uh, back, uh, yeah, back until um, January, we we did that uh, weekly. Uh, actually, Valerie was doing that weekly, and right now we are doing it uh, daily. Um, so it's uh, it's it's really helping uh, on having less conflicts and smaller conflicts, and also developers can start their branch um, uh, on, on top of a branch that is uh, more in sync with the the community edition code base. Uh, the next step is to automate uh, this work. Um, yeah. To, to address the same issue, uh, we also added a, a CI job, uh, which is EE compat check. Uh, basically, it's trying to detect if your branch will conflict uh, with the enterprise edition code base. Then uh, about uh, our test suite, we are trying uh, to reduce the duration and to get it under control. And uh, the first step for that is to monitor it to see uh, what's, what takes uh, a long time to, to run and what should be improved first. So I want to say, to say thank you to Nick and Alex for uh, setting up in the, this uh, monitoring and, and uh, um, the, the tool that we use to, to um, use the data. And actually, you can click on the the second link and it's, a, it's actually a public dashboard so that everyone can contribute, obviously. Um, yeah, now GitLab uh, QA. So we now have a GitLab quality insurance uh, tool, thanks to Gregor. Uh, basically, it's uh, testing GitLab as a, as a whole, uh, including uh, all the parts that uh, that make GitLab. Uh, for instance, uh, it, it uh, includes uh, testing workhorse uh, that is not um, tested in the GitLab Rails uh, test suite. Um, it already caught some broken behaviors, and uh, we will uh, try to integrate it better with, with uh, GitLab in the next uh, uh, weeks and months. And the last accomplishment I want to speak uh, of today is uh, the Git importer. Uh, thanks to Kim, who uh, contributed to the Git project. Uh, we have a Git importer. Uh, Git for the people that don't know it, uh, it's a community managed fork of Gox, which is itself a lightweight uh, GitLab, basically, right, written in Go. Um, so with that, uh, I will go with the concerns. Uh, right now, the main concerns are, are about uh, issue triaging because we have a lot of new issues each day. And uh, I want to remind everyone that issue triaging is, uh, uh, is a shared responsibility, basically. Right now, we have Mark, uh, who is uh, working full time on that. But uh, anyone can help. Um, triaging issues. You can check out the issue triage policies page if you want to know more. And the second concern is about uh, community merge requests. Um, we have between five to seven new uh, merge requests per day, so that's okay. But the issue is that we have a, a quite big backlog of uh, 170, 75 uh, merge requests. You can see the repartition uh, for yeah for each team basically most of them are uh, about uh, platform discussion and front end and uh, also yeah i want to remind the reviewer that uh, we will start to uh, ping 
rigorous from the team to review community merge requests because uh, they are as valuable as um, team merge requests. And now uh, for the plans. So yeah, basically it's, uh, most of them are the continuation of uh, our accomplishments so far. So we still uh, want to improve, uh, uh, to reduce the test suite duration, improve the community to EE uh, merge situation, uh, integrate GitLab QA better into GitLab, um, improving um, the code quality and also um, improving the reviewer's life by uh, using static analysis so that um, style, uh, style improvements are detected, uh, not improvements, the style issues are detected by a, a static analysis tool rather than by a human. Um, then we want to streamline the developer's experience so that as a developer, you can just uh, run a few comments and you are uh, up and running with, uh, for instance, a million projects in your, in your local instance so that you can experience how it feels um, to have a lot of, of, uh, of data in your GitHub in instance. Um, and the last point in this slide uh, is about Git external object database. Uh, so this one, it's a project that Christian is focusing on. It's basically to um, bring GitLab LFS into, uh, uh, sorry, Git LFS into Git. Um, and so that uh, it's, yeah, it's uh, shipped with Git and, and everyone can use it as a, as a, a default tool. And much more, so feel free to uh, uh, check out the rest of the plan. And yeah, that's uh, basically it uh, for today. I will, uh, I will uh, uh, answer your questions if you have, and thank you for your attention. Thanks uh, for the presentation, Remy. That was uh, helpful. Um, what uh, percentage of merge requests are from the community versus from ourselves? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I don't have the numbers, but I guess that's uh, not hard to, is that not hard to compute? Uh, but I would say, so let's, let's see um, if we had, so for, for instance, for 9.0, we already have uh, more than 90 community merge requests uh, merged. And um, oops. Ah, I'm trying to uh, see how many we have merged in total. So we have 300 merged in total. So that's almost, uh, uh, yeah, a, a chair of uh, the total. That's really not, not bad, I think. Thanks, that's 30%. That's, uh, that's amazing. Cool, thanks for that. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, next question. Uh, on the changer crisis, we were waiting for REG to be with the version of it. Git 2, that supports mesh union. REG has not been updated, but we're still waiting for an upstream library to bump the REG version that they support. So, Robert said there's a lot of pain there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we couldn't wait. So, basically, and I think. Actually, I think the, the, it's, the solution from Robert is, is also addressing uh, other points than, than just uh, um, conflicts. Uh, for instance, it's, since it's generating the changelog dynamically, uh, it's, uh, it also generates the changelog for uh, the intermaster branch and also in the, in the stable branch. Yeah, that wasn't the question, but uh, thanks for, for uh, saying that. Test all the things all the time. Yes, exactly. But not too much because otherwise it's, it takes too long. Um, yeah, so if there are 
no questions, no other questions, I will say thank you and see you in five weeks.